Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Onoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you a full structural detailing after you are done with your design in product structure. But as you all know, and you know very well that the that that all the that all the detail produced by this software, if you go ahead and you can print it out, it doesn't look very very clear. So there is a customized template which is used for a full structural detailing after you are done with your design. And that template is called Stonebridge Company Structural Detailing Template, which have two versions, version 2020 and version 2023. Okay, so we will be using the, the, the newer version for to perform the building, this building structural detailing. So I would say you should sit tight and then know how to perform a good and a neat structural detailing after you're done with your portal structural design. Okay, so right now you can see that we have performed, uh, we have already done this building design. And if you check on our design, on our design that you see, you can see that we have designed all of everything and we have also checked our beams. So the next stage right now is to go back and then go and um, go and export all our all our structural de detailing into the customized um, Stonebridge company templates. Okay, so right now I will just go over here to now export this detail to um, to now produce my structural detailing. As you all know, you have to go to this place here and then go and, and then click on this place here, which 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 says load photo details. So I'll just click on this place just now. Okay, and then once I well, once I've clicked on here right now, I will now then go over here to now, I'll wait for the software to like, to like open. So I've already opened the software already, just not to waste time on this video duration. So once you open the software, this um, put that detail, th this is what, this what comes up right now. So once this comes up, I will now, you now have to go to this place here and then locate the, that building which, 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 which you designed for. Which in this case, the building which I'm which I'm designing for, you know, the building is um called Mr. Tega Building Design. So I'll just go over here right now. Now begin to open up the building inside Prota Detail. So we are about leaving this place now called portal structure to portal detail because we are about entering into structural detailing, which we which I will show you how to use the customized um, structural detailing template, which is called Stonebridge um, detailing template. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna check if that um, that opened. Okay, so this is now how it looks like. So once you come to this stage, most people go ahead to go and click on this place automatic detail. I don't really advise you to do this. I would say that you should do it step by step and just follow what I what I will show you just now. Because if I need to follow all the steps which I will take here, to try detailing will not be will, will no longer be an issue for you again after you are done with your design for the future. Okay, so I would say you should click on this place and start by and start by creating a new drawing. So click on this place right now, and then you will see a new environment just like this, and then you know. I always advise that you have to now begin to create your um, begin to bring out just the ones which you need. So right now I need my foundation de details. So I'll click on this right now. And then once I click on this, I'll just right click here and then say draw. I'll click on draw here. And then on the, I will, I will now come to, come to this place here. It will show me a settings here. I will say you should leave this settings here as default. It is only on the beam settings that I will show you what you have to um, set before you can have um, produce your pin detailing else you have your pin detailing messed up okay so for this one first of all which is foundation i'll see just go here and click on, on draw here and once i click on draw here the next thing to do again right now is to now um paste it once this data bus goes off i'll not paste it anywhere on this um place but i'll say you should paste always at the corner so that at least you can have enough space to paste the rest Although this um, drawing environment is very big that it can contain as much drawing as you want. Okay, so right now you can now see that we have just produced our foundation detailing, sorry, our, 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 our foundation layout 
from this drawing, which from this design, which we did here. So we have produced the foundation um, layout, which is the foundation layout drawing from this from this design, which you can see it's just here on this place. Okay. So right now we will now have to now go and produce um, the first floor um, beam and column layout and also the um, the roof beam and column layout. So right now I'll click on this place here. Okay. And then I click here the same place here and then say draw. So by clicking on that place right now, we go ahead and now create the first floor layout here. So this open plan is only on beam on the beams and yeah, only on the beams that will have to make um make some settings. Okay, so I'll go again right now and then go over here and then click on this place here as you can see me here and then paste. I'm pasting the first floor beam and colon layout. Okay, as you can see there. So once that is been um there, once this appears now, so you can see um our first floor beam and colon layout. Then I will now go again now and then go and paste my roof. Okay, now I will advise you that you should have to um. You can perform your design very very fast but when it comes to detailing i would say you should spend time to perform your detailing because it is not a design that they will carry to site for the construction what they will carry to site is is, is the detailing so a good design but a poor detailing will make a bit will make a bit to collapse and even if you you have a very beautiful detailing but a poor design we also make a bit to, we also make a bit to collapse so for a building to be stable or for your structure to, to be to be stable the two must be good you have to have a good design and also a good detailing okay so let me just paste for the roof um beam and column layout okay which is here as you can see there this is story two as you can see there this is story two and then this is um story um this is story one this one here sorry this one here is story one okay that's fine you can see there this story one okay so we are done um, pasting our foundation first floor beam and ground layout and also the roof beam and roof, roof beam and ground layout so right now we'll now go over to go and paste our beams okay just follow what i'm doing right now like i said before i'll be using this stone bridge template to show you how to detail um how to perform a a good and a full structural detailing after you're done with your potential design Okay, so right now we will now go here right now and then click on this place which is the beam here which is the story beams elevation joints and then click on the first one here most people go ahead and, and go and click here and then you you don't follow this stage just do what i'm doing right now once you click on this story beam elevation here you will have a drop down of these two of all all of all your stories so first of all click on the first story you can see there by click and then say you will not see this place here draw one by one say no just click on this one here draw bin elevation so click on this place here and then on this place you have to make some settings here so click on this place here option because if you don't make some settings on the beam on the beam settings you have to you 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 have issues on your beam de detailing so for you to have a standard beam be a, a standard or let me say a global um beam detailing method i'll say you should just follow what i'm doing right now for the settings here so click on this place option and then click on this place here beam design settings here then once i click here right now the logos appears for the settings and then just follow what i'm doing just now and then click on this place here detailing and then once you click on that click on this place here section and then choose this place just spam only one it will cut only one section and then choose this first one here and then go again right now and click on this place here now on clicking on this place right now on check this eye straw as you can see that your bars are not showing here so on this is an old method of um detailing so you don't have to use this method so on check this to see your bars like this okay then also um check this here to 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 print total link details okay so once you have done that right now that those those ones and then go to this place dimensioning on this place right now i would say you should just leave everything here as as, as it is as default leave that one okay so i will now go here right now and then click on this place okay so once i click on this okay i'll now go and change my 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 scale here to 35 and then click on this place draw so once i click on draw just now i will now wait for the developers to this one to here to just disappear and i'll just see only my environment and now okay so i'll go ahead right now and go and paste um i'll just come here locate here a bit here
first floor beam and colon sorry beam beam de detailing so let me just hold on for it to finish up and then i'll show you how I will, you you will see how it will look like very very good okay so if you're a good follower of Ekidel, you should be able to um, um know what i'm doing just now okay and if you are a good subscriber or if you are watching this our video for the first time i would say you should click on the subscribe button okay so right now you cannot see how our bin details looks like okay so you can now see that there's a difference between what you have been doing and what we and and then what we have just done just now okay this this, this is just the let me say 10 percent of what we are or just one percent of what we have to do today okay so right now i'll then go again and then do again and then print out my um my my roof beam detail i'll just go here right which is which is the second floor here i click here and then say them draw beam elevation now since we have done our first setting we will not do setting c again because the other settings that that we have done have have saved okay so i'll just go ahead and then click on draw here and then i will remind myself not to paste this loser to this or that one so that i will not have any type of um, any kind of um collusion with this one so i'll just give a gap a, a small space down here i can give this space here i can put it here and then paste for the second floor here so i'm pasting my second floor right now so the next stage right now is to go and um, be, um produce our pad foundation details okay so right now we're going to produce our okay so this, this is now the beam details you can see it here the software has given it to us but we we will still have to um, make it to be more global using the stone bridge template okay so if you need that template i would say check on the link down below and then do that that template so that you'll be able to follow up what we're doing just now okay so if you need that customized portal structure template which is called the stone bridge tem templates i would say you check on the link down below and download that it's not free but it will help you a lot and it will also lessen uh, lessen the number of time you're meant to work on your detailing to at least 80 percent okay so right now i will now go ahead here and then click on this place here and then right click here as you can see it here and now say draw part footing detail i'll click on this one right now and then i will now go here and then click on draw here and once i click on draw i will now go and then um zoom out i'll zoom out so that i can be able to see space to paste it so i'll zoom out and then just choose uh, let me zoom out a bit zoom out a bit again zoom out again okay i can choose to paste it here somewhere here i can paste it here let me paste it here so i can choose to paste it here then after when we have um exported this this all this drawing now to the stone bridge company template then we will now begin to now arrange them in sheets and you will see how this how the template will automatically transform what we have done and this and this new release this this new release of the of the stonebridge template which is 23 is very very amazing okay so you, you cannot see that we have done uh we have pasted the footing detail of which we are we are not going to use this during our uh, detailing but we will just take just the values here because the stonebridge template gives us um a good um part foundation de de detailing okay so right now we will now go ahead and now go and paste our columns and then i'll go here right now and click on this place now on the column now the only thing i'll click on the column is just the um the column um the column schedule that's the only thing i need because this software potassium does not give column detailing very well you will see how you will see what they call a good column detailing when we are when we're using the stone bridge template so because of that i'm not going to print out um column column detailing and also slab detailing because this software doesn't do slab very well and also column very well and also staircase very well so i'm going to leave this 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 slab um column and then staircase and then use the stone bridge template and cases sort for staircase to perform the staircase detailing okay so right now i'll just click on this place here right now and then to paste my my column schedule okay so this is now my color schedule right now as you can see we don't have much type of column we only have two type of two or three types of column in this building so we have the one we have the column as you can see it here this one is just panning only one just just at the uh, bottom and then there's a column also here 
that's, that has a, that that runs all the way from foundation to the roof, and there is one that starts only at the at the as the decking to the roof. Okay, so I will show you all that how to I will also show you how to um perform column and like how I like how you can group your column and also name your columns. Okay, so right now we can now go ahead and now can export this to um to the um customized stone bridge company structural detailing template which is a customized template for structural detailing okay so right now i'll just go here right now just to see everything which i've done and then go here as you can see it here right now this place here and then click on export here right click here and then say export now on exporting now i'll just go ahead here and then click on what export so once i export just now i'll wait for it to um show so i wait for this thing here to so to finish with that, you can see there it is there within the um how the thing is exporting, which is the which is called the percentage. So I wait for it to full. So once it has full, and then it will not show me the folder where we are we are the drawing where this drawing has been exported to AutoCAD. Then we will now copy that file and then send it to the Stonebridge company structural template. I just heard that from from the mail from Stonebridge that um, Stonebridge 2024 release will be doing automatic slab detailing. Okay, we just hope that um, that comes out very fine. Okay, so you, you so you cannot see um, you cannot see it here. The, this is now our file for the um, for this for this drawing for this um, design which we have just done. Okay, so this as you can see it here. So this is now the exported file. So we will now carry this file right now. You can see there it is under the Mr. Tega building design and also exported drawing. So we will now carry this file now and export to um to the Stonebridge company structural template. So we will just copy it right now. So on copying now, I will now show you. So we are now entering into the full stage of structural detailing. So I will say that you should now um hold on while we not go to the next stage but this is just the part one of what of of this video so i would say for you to learn very well on how to perform your full structural de 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 detailing using the new stone bridge template 2023 release i would say you should watch the part two of this video because if you don't watch the part two of this video you won't be able to um um get the value of what we are doing here on this particular video training okay so right now we will now move on to the next stage which is the structural detailing using the stone bridge company structural detailing template which is a customized template to use after you're done performing your your design in Buddha structure okay so right now so thank you and then watch out for part two of this video oh we love you